Lord Roderick. Lady Alyssa. Gwyn? Roderick, may I have a word? Thank you for accepting my father's invitation. I wasn't certain you'd come, but it's a good thing you did. Be honest with me. If things get bloody, are you on my side or his? My father honors guest right, just as you do. You didn't answer the question. I told you I'd try to talk sense into my father. And you did your part, putting up with Griff. I know how difficult that must have been for you. But it will all be for nothing unless you listen to what my father has to say. You need to take him seriously today. Which means keeping a level head and thinking before you jump to conclusions. I'm here in good faith, aren't I? Yes, I suppose you are. You have an impressive stronghold, Lady Gwyn. These walls hold a thousand years of White Hill history. A thousand years of bloodshed. But our houses were close once, and could be again. So much of our history has been lost. Shall we get on with it? The Great Hall is this way. Are your soldiers expecting trouble? They're ready for anything. The way they see it, the enemy is within their walls. What's this? My lady? Give us a moment. Is this your family? Shortly before Griff was born. Are these your brothers? The eldest three, yes. Carl died of grayscale a few years ago. Ebbets at the Citadel. Torrin serves Bruce Bolton. And Griff, of course, wasn't born yet. That must be you. A <laughs> much younger me. Yes. You look a bit like your mother now. The father isn't one for portraiture. But my mother wanted this made. Also is that your mother? Yes. Though I hardly remember her. She died not long after this was made. Your father doesn't smile much, does he? He used to. When my mother was still alive. My brothers were never kind to Griff. He was boastful, gullible, and quick to anger. But my father always defended him. A white hill is a white hill, he'd say. Come on, we mustn't keep my father waiting. Where's your father? Strange. I'll go find him. I don't like this. Let's be ready to defend ourselves. Just say the word, my lord. Ryan for Griff. That is the plan. Maybe we should have brought the Glenmores. I'll look around. See what we're up against. Mother, look at this. This ironwood's cracked. I'm not surprised. The White Hills were never any good at the craft. Oi! Step away from that!
Why all this? If they mean to betray us. Bread and salt would mean we're protected by guest right. Even so, I won't be letting my guard down. Roderick! Welcome to High Point! Lord. You're not nervous, are you? I could ask you the same thing. All these soldiers... Sounds like you're feeling outnumbered. Father, please. Can we just get on with this? Called High Point a keep for the gods. What stonework, he said. What craftsmanship. He wouldn't stop talking about it. <laughs> if you ask me, I'd say he was envious. High Point is very impressive. It is, compared to your pile of timber. Lord, where's Ryan? Always worried about your family, aren't you? Let's toast to family! Won't you toast with me, Roderick? As a symbol of our goodwill? To family. To, to family. family. Now, tell us why we're here. The ironwood business is thriving, Roderick. In fact, the Boltons want weapons faster than we can make them. And when Roos Bolton wants something, I like to give it to him. So, in other words, you need our help. <laughs> Don't be so damn full of yourself. You foresters are headed for destruction. Yet, you know more about Ironwood than any house in the realm. Would be a shame for all that knowledge to be lost. Help me craft ironwood for the Boltons, and I'll make sure you foresters survive. That's absurd. If you think you can threaten I'm us... I'm not threatening. I'm offering. So you're proposing an alliance? An alliance? I said nothing of the sort. He'd make us his slaves. Roderick, this could save your house. I'd consider an alliance. You see what I have to put up with? Just give him time. I told you... I offer you peace. And you spit at it. I offer opportunity. And you demand more. I've seen this coming since you refused to kiss my ring. Here's how it's gonna go, Roderick. Either you agree to my terms... Or I'll have Griff tear Ironrath to the ground. He'll put it to the torch. This isn't the way to Let get what you want. Let me get slaughtering your small folk. Maybe he'll even make you watch. Griff's no longer in charge of Ironrath. What are you talking about? He's locked in our darkest cellar along with your entire fucking garrison. <gasps> you didn't. You've imprisoned my son. He was there by order of the Warden of the North. Roderick, how could you? Now it's my turn to propose a deal. Your son Griff, for my brother Ryan. We want Ryan back, and we want him today. Bring the boy! Ryan! Mother! Frotry! I... I thought you'd forgotten about... No! Father, no! What are you doing? You imprisoned my flesh and blood. Mine! Let him go! He's not going anywhere! Listen to her! Don't I do I swear this. by the gods, if you hurt... He's a child! A son for a son! This is not what we're... Blame him! Not me! If 
you want to see Griff alive again? You think I give two shits about Griff? About my fucking fourthborn? I want to kill you right now! Because you foresters never learn. I'm not afraid of you! Just say the word, my lord. Kill me! Why? And we all die! Roderick, do something! Let me go! Everyone, please! Go on, then. Do it! What? You think I want? I know you want. Don't test him, Roderick! Just for all your bluster, all your posturing, you care about your son. Whitey is still a whitey. You know what, Roderick? You're right. <coughs> Ryan, come here. No! We'll make the trade on neutral soil. Griff for Ryan. A son for a son. <coughs> Fine. Now, get the fuck out of my hall. And the gods have mercy on us both. When the Boltons come for their ironwood. Now oh, go. It's been a pleasure, Lord. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Roderick.